finally arrived this is the arma creighton 6s and i think it's blx which is the like the final code for it i bought a ready to run version means that it comes with the radio the speed control the motor everything you need except for a battery and battery charger i can't believe how big this thing is it is huge man absolutely huge um, I'll give you like a preparative of it so um, let's see here oh it's huge I mean it is just an absolutely gigantic monster of a vehicle absolutely huge but it's not bad right and I just Look at the shocks on this thing and the arms. It has CVD drives, which is real nice in it. Full independent suspension. It is four wheel drive. It has three differentials in it. There is a center diff, a rear diff, and then a front diff. The truck is able to hit speeds of about 60 miles an hour. That's 60 miles an hour. Um, it does accept a 14, 0.2 or 14.8 volt battery and 11.1 volt so it takes three cells or four cells so 11.1 volts that's how much juice it puts out and then the 6400 milliamp that's how long it will run for so the higher the number the more run time you get the higher the volts the faster the car will go Look at the body. Body looks good. Yeah, it looks cool. They did a phenomenal job on the body. It has these uh, clips. That's what clips the truck to the frame, or these little clips here. And they have these attachments. That way you don't lose the clips, which I've done a million times lose clips. Man, yeah, it looks good. Miles an hour with it, which is cool. And then there's kind of like a look at the battery and stuff. It's just a nice little breakdown chart that they have. Oh, look, they also have it in kilometers. So if you're European or British or not in the estates, you can understand it as well. So they have it in kilometers and miles per hour. That's a nice feature. Oh. That is for a 10th scale car and that is for the H scale car so that's what I use to get the wheel lugs off of the car which is nice and it also included some Allen wrenches they right there optional high speed gearing is for running on hard flat surfaces only that's cool so they include a gear so if you want to do 60 on a flat surface you can that is so cool that they include all that extra little stuff for you. And then this looks like the manual. Let's open this thing up. Take a quick peek at it.
Yeah, it has the typical stuff that I figured a manual would come with. You know, how to fix this, how to do that. Sweet. I think you guys are going to get a kick out of this thing. This is going to be awesome. God, look how big it is. This thing is huge. Damn. Man, look at the, look at the front end of this thing. Oh, we're also going to uh, carbon fiber the body. This thing probably weighs a good 35 pounds, man. If not more. I'm gonna upgrade it, we're gonna modify it. Right now, computer prices are just ridiculous, so building a computer is just not profitable. Um, I spent $700 on this and then plus the battery and the charger and everything else I need I got about a thousand dollars into it well a thousand dollars as of right now will get me a GTX 1080 it won't even get me into the the 20 series or the 30 series so this is a smarter choice I gotta keep content rolling right it has to be interesting this thing is going to be interesting oh yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing now this is considered a ready to run vehicle, but that doesn't mean that it is exactly ready to run. For one, the first thing that I noticed was that the tires are not correctly aligned. If you sh line this tire up directly with that tire, this tire is bowed out. It's, it's way out of alignment. So I need to fix the alignment. Also, look at this. See that? That's not good. That back tire is not secured. See how loose it is? That is not secure. So if you were to pull this thing right out of the box, put the batteries in it, and then go, uh, you're probably going to break something. So you want to check your vehicle out. This is so cool. I hope you guys like this video. I can't wait to get it put together uh, the way that I want it. We're going to go through it, do some other things to it. Once we get it all set up, we will do a run video. I will show it to you guys, I promise. So if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like. Also, we are trying to come up with another channel name. I want to change the channel's name. I need y'all's help. Put down some comments below of what you think the channel name should be. And if it's a good one, we might even consider it. And if I pick you, you might win something. All right. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.